torpedo is an underwater ranged weapon launched above or below the water's surface and self-propelled towards a target and with an explosive warhead designed to detonate either on contact with or in proximity to the target. The speed of a torpedo depends on surrounding medium target range. The torpedo allowed small torpedo boats and other lighter surface vessels, submarines, even improvised fishing boats and later light aircraft to destroy large ships without the need of large guns, though sometimes at the risk of being hit by longer range artillery fire. We have compiled a list of 10 fastest torpedoes ever recorded, so let's jump right into it. The Mark 36 Torpedo the Mark 36 torpedo was a submarine-launched anti-surface ship torpedo designed by General Electric and the Naval Torpedo Station in 1946. Further development of the Mark 36 was discontinued due to the development of the Mark 42 torpedo. Its speed can reach up to 47 knots. The Type 93 torpedo the Type 93 was a torpedo of the Imperial Japanese Navy. Launched from surface ships, it was the most advanced naval torpedo in the world at that time. It was in service between 1933 to 1945, and Type 93 torpedo are able to move at a maximum speed of 48 knots. MU-90 Impact The MU-90 Impact is an advanced lightweight anti-submarine torpedo of the third generation developed by France and Italy for navies of France, Italy, Germany, Denmark, Australia, and Poland. This anti-submarine is reported to reach at a speed of 50 knots. The Type 65 Torpedo The Type 65 is a torpedo manufactured in the Soviet Union or Russia. It was developed for use against U.S. Navy aircraft carrier battle groups as well as large merchant targets such as super tankers and advanced enemy submarines. Its speed can reach up to 50 knots. The APR-3E the APR-3E Airborne Light ASW Acoustic Homing Torpedo is designed by Russian Tactical Missiles Corporation JSC to engage current and future submarines at depths from the surface down to 800 meters. It is a replacement for earlier APR-2 Light Anti-Submarine Acoustic Homing Torpedo and this torpedo can travel more than 55 knots. Up next is the Sparefish Torpedo. The Sparefish Torpedo is a heavyweight torpedo used by the submarines of the Royal Navy. It is currently in service since 1992, and Sparefish can be guided by wire or by autonomous active or passive sonar and provides both anti-submarine and anti-surface ship warfare capability. Sparefish can travel at a speed of up to 60 knots. The Type 89 Torpedo it is a Japanese submarine-launched homing torpedo produced by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. It entered service and is currently carried aboard the Haruchio, Oyashio, and Soryo-class submarines. It was also carried by the Yushio-class submarines before they retired from active service in 2006. The reported speed of this torpedo is 70 knots. The Type 95 Torpedo the Type 95 was the fastest torpedo in common use by any navy at the time. Its warhead size was the largest of any submarine torpedo and second only to the Type 93 used by the Japanese surface ships. Its engine was a kerosene oxygen wet heater rather than the compressed air used by most torpedo types at the time. Type 95 can move at a speed of 91 knots. The Hood Torpedo the Hoot is an Iranian supercavitation torpedo claimed to travel at approximately 360 km per hour, several times faster than a conventional torpedo. It was claimed to have been successfully test-fired from a surface ship against a dummy submarine during the Iranian military exercise Great Prophet on 2nd and 3rd April 2006. And lastly, we have the Shukval. The Shukval torpedo and its descendants are supercavitating torpedoes originally developed by the Soviet Union and is manufactured in Kyrgyzstan by a state-owned factory. In 2012, the Russian government asked for a 75% ownership of the factory in exchange for writing off massive Kyrgyz debt to Russia. They are capable of speeds in excess of 200 knots. 
So guys, we're winding up the video, but before that, don't forget to smash that like button and that subscribe button if you've enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for viewing in. Until next time, bye-bye.